Other types of effects I like to write, I like to have a color effect. Uh, color effects can be a little tricky without I involving macros. So what I have on my handle now is basically a color effect that takes me between white and a background state. So that looks like something like this. It's an absolute effect, and it's going to be in the 401 series. So you can see here I have a white sine wave effect. And it's, an, it's a two-step absolute effect. And it goes from the background state, which is whatever the light is currently doing, whatever color it's in, to a, uh, to a no color state, which is my, my no color color palette. You know, I know this is a sine wave effect because if I look at the time, it's taking one, a second and a half to fade up and a second and a half to fade out. And it's never hanging, so it gives you that sine wave curve. If I look at a step, for example, step has a time of zero and a dwell of a second and a half. Ramp, so it takes a second and a half to fade in, and then it really quickly drops off, and it holds there, and then it fades back up. So you get kind of that same ramp look. So these are the same, the same ideas of what I have in my, app, in my linear effects, just doing it in absolute effects because I want to use palettes. So if I have this up, and I run that color effect, something like that. And I, here, because scale isn't really applicable, I set the handle on the color effect to also be effect rate so that I can have some independent control of that from whatever my master is doing.